All right, clear skies with plenty of sunshine out there. As you head out now, just remember that it is a little bit breezy in a few spots, but not really windy. But there is still a little bit of a breeze going out here. So for most of you, if you do go ahead and head out for lunch, go ahead and grab a jacket because you'll need it. The temperatures are still struggling a little bit to get up to those 50s. I do anticipate us getting to 58 for today's high temperature. We're tracking 63 as we head into your Thursday and Friday 60. So the temperatures will be coming up to the 60s for your Thursday and Friday. And then how about 72? That should be very comfortable and certainly something that we're going to be looking forward to come Saturday. And then by Sunday and Monday, temperatures sort of leveling out. So not quite as warm on sa as, as Saturday, but not quite as cool as what we're experiencing today. So we're certainly going to start to feel an upswing and an uptick in your temperatures. Now, while we're enjoying that uptick in the temperatures, we're also going to have have to locate those umbrellas. You're going to need them. Now the rain we're going to be tracking is going to be here for Saturday. There is a chance we could see a sprinkle for Friday, but mainly cloudy skies. The rain chance is Saturday coming in very late. We're talking probably as we approach midnight. Some of the models do want to bring it in maybe like nine or 10 o'clock, but we'll see how that plays out. A lot of that may materialize into cloud cover, but we do know the rain will be here for Sunday and Monday, and during those time frames, you're going to certainly make sure that you have your umbrellas ready. The temperatures will be a little bit warmer, so you may not have to bundle up quite so tight, but do remember the wet weather will be staying with us into the start of the work week and even into your Tuesday. So Tuesday could be a wet one going into work, but by the time you're heading home Tuesday afternoon, I anticipate things starting to wind down. So this is the way things are playing out now with our European model. We're looking at a cold front that will be coming in. This will be round one. This will give us the showers we'll experience late Saturday night and into Sunday. Won't be a whole lot of them. The main event or the bigger event will start to push in a little bit later in the day Sunday. Sunday, not only does that front continue to slip over us, it also pulls in an area of low pressure. That's when it gets a little bit windy at times for us as we head into the day Monday. So so it's wetter on Sunday. Monday will be wet and windy as low pressure moves through and moves over the state and kind of rides along that stationary front almost like a little train track. So we get these little impulses and these pivots along these fronts, and that's what gives us that continuation of the wet weather. This is about 9 o'clock on Tuesday. Notice we're still tracking some showers, but the rain does start to move out maybe around lunchtime or so Tuesday. So we have a couple of days where we're certainly going to be watching the accumulation of the rain numbers. All right, 58 for us today with sunshine and then 30 overnight. So another cold one. And then we're at 63 as we head into your Thursday. Friday's at 67, 72 Saturday, Sunday, wet, soggy, breezy, and it gets windier as we head into your Monday. The wet weather continues. And then behind all of this, we settle into temperatures in the low 60s.